right now he's doing exactly what we want. He's just taking a nap. In Manchester, New Hampshire, conservation officer Chris McKee manages the scene of a nuisance bear call in a residential neighborhood. There's actually a section of woods right off the edge of this residential area, which is a pretty good sized piece of woods for Manchester. This is where we determined he actually came over the fence this morning. Pretty good paw print there. Just this morning alone, this is actually the fifth call that Manchester has had for a bear in city limits causing problems. Why are they coming? Right now, there's no fruits ready. You know, the blueberries, the raspberries are not ripe, blackberries aren't ripe. Just looking at this bear, it's not going to be easy to get out of here. The problem is this bear is out on a tree limb over two yards and directly over a giant fence. And there's no way to put anything underneath it to catch it if we decide to tranquilize it. Our biologist's on his way right now. I just talked to him on the phone. He'll take a look at it. He might just try to get it to go into one of our traps, so big giant cages. They'll fill it full of like donuts and sweets and honey. Can you take him away if you get him from Yep. Well, the one we got about a month ago, we took up north. It's yeah. about 100 miles from here. I just spoke with Pat Tate. This being a weekend, um, he's obviously off. He's actually in Vermont. He's not going to be here for a couple hours. So right now, the goal is to keep this bear sleeping in the tree until the biologist arrives with the trap. If it wakes up, it gets aggressive because it feels trapped. It's going to be fenced in. It could get very agitated and obviously go after somebody or something. Right now, it's just a waiting game. Hello? Hey, how far out are you? I'm at least still an hour away. OK. I don't want you to give me any false ideas of what my abilities are to get there. He's moving around a little bit in the tree right now, actually. I'm not sure what his plans are, but hopefully he'll uh, just stay asleep, so. Back in Manchester, Officer McKee tries to keep a tree bear calm until a biologist arrives with a relocation trap. Kind of back out and give him some space. He's getting up. Oh yeah, he's only he's walking. Unfortunately, the neighbor's dog has to go out to the bathroom. They've let it out. It has seen the bear, started barking, and now this bear is awake. Obviously, it looks like it wants to come out of the tree. It's kind of heading towards the trunk. So I'm going to kind of have to step it up a little bit and get people cleared out of the area, because if this bear decides to come down, I don't want anybody in the backyard. All right, guys, we're going to back away from the tree, because he's getting ready to come down. He's getting agitated now, so people get too close to him. He feels frightened. He could attack. Here he comes. Boy. At this point, the bear's on the ground. If it picks any one of these fences, it can climb it in a heartbeat and be over it. The problem is, is that on every single one of these fences, on the other side is a bunch of people there with cameras. There's a set of woods that aren't too far away that I'm hoping I might be able to chase it out of the city. Prop this door open real quick. All right, clear out from that door over there, because we're going to send them that way. I'm trying to direct the bear where I want him to go without actually having to physically chase him. Moving around behind him, behind the tree. Come on. Kind of, in a sense, pushing or driving him to the direction I want to go. Come on. But any sudden movements, any noise could send this bear basically anywhere to do anything. Too much commotion. This bear just got spooked and took off running and has just jumped up a different tree. My only fear is that the yard he's about to go into is where the dog is, and there's a building with a bunch of people standing right on the other side. Oh boy. Come on. So this bear is actually kind of doing exactly what I want right now. I've backed off a little bit, and he's heading right for that door. Go. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. 
right now, there's two options. This bear could head into the city and just cause all sorts of problems and headaches for me for the rest of the day and probably the rest of the weekend. Or if I get lucky, it's gonna head towards the woods and be out of the city for the day. Good. It actually looks like this bear is heading in the right direction, heading towards a patch of woods. The only one for about a half a mile. There we go. I'm just gonna stay behind him, keep up with him, and just hope he keeps going in the right direction. Stay back. Hey, can you gotta roll a little bit, back up. Yeah, there he goes. He's heading the right way, so we'll just keep him going. Once he gets out there, it's all woods from there, so. Just wish he'd use the roads and not driveways and yards. He went right up behind some houses on a beaten path and is headed right back into the woods. <laughs> hey, did he run off, though? Yeah. That's where we're hoping he goes, so. Perfect, excellent, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, bear's gone. That worked out well. Hey, Pat, oh. you there? Yep. We just got him out of the tree, and I just chased him back into the woods, so he is um, out of the city. Really? Yeah. Oh, good deal. OK. Yeah, that's good. So I appreciate it. Nice deal. Right now, he's in a perfect place. He's in a nice wooded area. He shouldn't be bothered. Hopefully, he stays out there for a while and learns his lesson. If he comes back, we can set a trap, catch him, and relocate him somewhere better than this habitat.